Welcome to A Plumber's Views on Life, Work, and Balance. My name is Rudy Uribe Jr., and I'm the Director of Talent Acquisition and Self-Help Trainer for Ruder Hero Plumbing. All of my podcasts are less than five minutes and hopefully bring home a point that can help you improve your life. Personally, I'm a big believer in karma. What goes around comes around, the good and the bad. So let's avoid the bad and start shooting for the good. This is a special edition podcast. Today, we're going to sit down with John Akoyan, the CEO of Ruder Hero Plumbing. Ruder Hero has 11 locations in two states and has big plans for expansion this year. John, welcome. Thank you, Rudy. It's a pleasure to be working with you. You have developed a lot of success habits over the years, and one of the first ones I want to talk about is your use of a gratitude journal. Can you tell us about that? Sure, yeah, I, uh, I learned the gratitude journal a while back through one of my coach classes, and uh, it was one of the most incredible thing I've noticed happen as I used it more and more, uh, just the transformation of happiness uh, that came into my life was substantial. I mean, a lot of anxiety had got washed away mm-hmm. by using the gratitude journal. So now, it's been for those of us who don't know what that is. What exactly do you do every morning? Well, every morning I uh, take my journal and I write down uh, what I'm grateful for. I usually write down three things I'm grateful for, and I continue to use the gratitude journal into. Um, why I'm grateful, I need to find out what makes that gratitude happen. And then from their uh, further progress, what am I gonna do in first action? So with every gratitude, there's always action I have to take that day uh, that makes the gratitude proactive. That's great, so tell me how this applies to business now. We're, we're, we're talking to plumbers who are in a, you know day-to-day, sometimes it's a good day, sometimes it's not going the way you want, how does, how does that help them? Well, I don't think any of us are immune towards bad days. We all, we all have something bad that happens to us. And uh, I've, I've, I woke up this morning and the first phone call I got was that we had one of our vans in an accident and the guy's going to the hospital. With that, you know, before I didn't do the gratitude journal, whenever I used to hear bad news, it used to put me in a bad mood. And I used to start reacting to it uh, and now, because I am proactive with the gratitude by writing it down, what happens is I can actually pull myself out of that bad state a lot quicker because I've got proactive gratitude in my life. An example is that sometimes it's hard to climb out of that hole. And what I do is I pause because I have the awareness now that gratitude is necessary, and I start looking for somebody to feel grateful for. That sounds great. And I know uh, here in, in our company, once a week, uh, we have a positive focus that we start our, our meetings with. And t- tell us a little bit about that and how you came up with that. Well, the, the positive focus I learned in uh, one of my coaching meetings I went to uh, by uh, one of my coaches, Lee, Lee Bauer. And he started a meeting I went to once with a positive focus. And I just noticed the feeling inside because the day before, I had a lot of anxiety. There was a lot of things that were going wrong. I went into that meeting. It's almost like the chemical inside my body changed after listening to all these positive things that are going on. And then it was forcing me to think about what's going on in my life that's positive. And as soon as my focus went to the positive, I noticed a change in, in, in my, in, in my uh, ability or in, my, in, my, you know, in how I felt. John, every morning, everyone in the company receives a quote action from you, a quote of the day. And and today's quote kind of ties into what we're talking about right now. It says, envy is the art of counting the other fellow's blessings instead of your own. And it's by humor columnist Harold Coffin. That's that's exactly right. That that is what envy is. It's a beautiful definition. Yeah, yeah, it really is. And, uh, you know, my belief is and uh, that... The opposite of gratitude is envy. And if if you want to be unhappy, then start looking outside at what other people have and try to compare it with what you have. That's the quickest way for you to become very unhappy (laughs) at a very fast pace. And uh, I believe that, you know, in order to have gratitude, envy cannot exist. John, thanks for uh, sitting in with me today. I look forward to gaining 
more success insights from you over the upcoming months. This has been a special edition of A Plumber's Views on Life, Work, and Balance. I'm Rudy Uribe, Jr. Thank you for